It's time for Dr. Laura. I swear she's not gonna bore ya. For sexy advice, you don't have to think twice. Just say you're asking for a friend. Today we're going to talk about movie and movie genre. So I have lived with two partners, and I've had other partners through the years that have spent a lot of time with me, right? So here are some tips on things to consider before you take the plunge and move in together. What is your previous experience with sharing a living space? So for some people, they had a lot of siblings growing up. They always had people around. They know what it's like to have to share a dresser in a room. But for other people, maybe they grew up as an only child. And especially if you haven't had experience with even roommates before, this can pose a particular challenge. So with that, you want to say to yourself, well, what are the things that are really important to me in my space? Do I need to have a lot of time alone? And how can I work that into sharing a home with somebody? Do I need a lot of privacy in the back? Or do I need to make sure that if I buy certain treats for me, that nobody's going to go into the kitchen and gobble them up? Now, those, again, might sound like small things, but in reality, they can just pick and pick and pick away at you to the point where you can't stand living with this person anymore. So the more you can discuss these things ahead, the better. Which leads us to number two. You want to have as much time together as possible. So while you still both have your own places, that is a great time to say, okay, let's consistently up the amount of time that we spend together consecutively. Because it's easy to go on a date and feel great around the person, but it's harder when you've had a really bad day and you come home and you just want to zone out with some Netflix and be by yourself. So in order to feel out how you're going to be dealing with that long term, this is the time to do that. You might say, let's spend every single weekend together from Friday after work to Monday morning. Or if you can go a week on and a week off at each other's places. My last hot tip for moving in with your partner and being prepared for success is to really think about where you need privacy and what you really can't live with. I find that one of the hottest places for conflict are bathrooms. The way people structure their bathroom time and the different little rules that we all have based on how we were raised and then our preferences as adults is something that causes so much disagreement in the couples I've worked with and in my own experience. For example, some people like to brush their teeth in the shower. Some people find seeing a toothbrush next to their shampoo super gross. Other people do not like someone to walk out of the shower wet. You need to dry off while you stand in the tub and the bath mat should remain essentially dry. And they so they'll hate if somebody does the opposite and gets water on their floor. What are you going to be able to overlook? What are you going to be able to kind of laugh at and shrug off? Because you love this person and you do want to see them every single day. So you're going to be okay with the things that might make you give them a nice eye roll, but aren't worth breaking up over. In the end, there's no right or wrong choice. It really is up to the two of you or more. And you have to come to a place where you decide what's more important. My physical privacy and space or being able to be with this person in every single way, every single day. As always, send us more questions. We love hearing from you. Cheers, queers. Like this video? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that one there. To get more asking for a friend each and every month. Email your queer sex questions anonymously to info at spectrumsouth.com. And don't worry, we know. You're just asking for a friend. Cheers, queers.